Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going to Universal Studios Hollywood. Right now we're currently in City Walk because I want to show you guys a look at those two mazes that are being built in the back lot and you can only see them through one of the parking garages. Like I always tell you guys every single week so you guys know like what to expect already. But check out Tucson Chocolate Emporium. There's a whole lot of scaffolding. Sorry about the shot guys, I know it looks really dark. It's just that the sun is ruining the shot from behind but you can basically make it out. Alright but anyways, here's a look at the two mazes being built in the back lot. Here's a look at the first one. Some giant crates in front of it. That wasn't there last time I was here. It looks like whatever that is is still covered up. And besides that, I'm not sure if that tree that's next to the car is new or not. You see it right there? I don't remember that being there last week, but maybe I just missed it. But besides that, everything else looks about the same on this maze on the outside anyways. And then here's a look at the Halloween maze. Man, it looks so good. <laughs> looks like they're starting to paint the uh, the porch right there. But besides that, that's all we can really see from here. There's also some crates in the front right there. But that's basically your updated look at these two mazes. So we're back in City Walk now, and before we head to the park, I have two things I want to show you guys. Actually scratch that, make it three things. So check out Universal Cinema. They like fully decorated the outside to nope. So they got the signs, and they're even doing some advertisement for the Universal Studio Tour. See they have Jupiter's Claim on the back lot, which is opening I believe this Friday on the 22nd. Yeah, right there, see? Beginning July 22nd. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to see this movie. Over at the old Starbucks location, they have a sign literally on the floor, <laughs> right in front of the old doors, that says, uh, please visit us at Center Court Fountain for the new location, which is actually opening today. Today's the first day. So I'm not really sure why the stairs are covered up, because this is the way you get to the Starbucks. But it says, come on in, Universal City Walk Hollywood, now open. And the last thing I want to give you guys a look at before we hit the park is the old Production Central location here in City Walk. Honestly, not much has changed since the last time I was here, but like I keep saying every week, hopefully next week we'll be able to see something. Because as of right now, it's just still the front is still covered up and nothing else has really changed outside. Well, we just made it past security. I was really surprised when I saw that the gates were open already. Uh, it's currently 8.06. Apparently they're open, they opened up at 8 today when usually they've been opening up like at 9, so I'm a little bit late. So we just made it inside the park and look, the plaza is closed for some event today. San Manuel Band of Mission Indians. San Manuel Casino. Family Fun Zone at Universal Plaza, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. We're gonna have DJ games, crafts, photo ops, face painters, sketch and balloon artists, snacks, beverages. And then from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m., they're gonna have DJ photo ops. You can use hashtag Team San Manuel. <laughs> That's cool. And just like I figured, the maze being built by Mel's Diner, which is supposedly La Llorona, Still doesn't look any different than it did last week, but anyways, I want to show you guys how it looks today. See, the facade looks exactly the same as it did last week. I don't think we're going to get any more updates until these walls are finally down, to be honest. But anyways, I think now we're going to head to the, the area behind Super Silly Funland to get a look at Super Nintendo World. I hope there's some new updates. Alright, so here at Super Nintendo World... I can't really make out too many differences. I feel like that flagpole wasn't there last week, but it's there now. Uh, let me see. I did notice that this, right there, in the middle of the screen, that's been covered up for some time now, and now it's uncovered, but I can't make out exactly what it is. Maybe they're still going to add some theming on there, but as of right now, like, this is, this is how it looks. If you guys know what it is, please let me know, because I'm, I'm curious. And then, here's a look at the entrance. It's coming along nicely. Looks like they're sort of starting to cover it up right there. I can't wait to see it green. <laughs> but that's basically everything I was able to show you guys on the first angle. We'll check again on the second angle on the way down to the lower lot. Man, they really hooked up the plaza for that event, look. Little kid tables and chairs. Tables and chairs for adults. Little tents, who knows what's gonna be going on there. Hmm. So we ended up making our way over here to Hogsmeade and we're currently in Dervish and Bangs and they have these new coins with spells on them. Alohomora. The spell markers. These are $8 each. It 
See, they got a bunch of different ones. It's pretty cool, and then you can even buy a spell marker map. You can save your coins on there. This is $22. So after I showed you guys those pretty cool spell coins, we ended up looking around the rest of Hogsmeade and sadly found nothing. Everyone went to Filch's Emporium and nothing at all new. Uh, but I think now we're just going to head to the studio tour. My version of the TV show Night Rider. Hey, we got a bunch of Back to the Future cards here. And do you guys remember Back to the Future 2? By the year 2015, we were supposed to have flying cars. Where is my flying car? I live in LA. I need a flying car to get around the traffic. Because the traffic in LA, guys, is just like the Flintstones. How fast can you go in a foot-powered car? Not very fast. Oh, there's a flying car from Harry Potter. I need to comment on that. And there's Angeline's Corvette. I should take that car. What do you guys think? Would I look good driving around in a pink Corvette? I would, don't you think? I think so, yeah. Hey, Jurassic World. Has anybody seen Dominion yet? It's good. It's a dinosaur cavalcade. A lot of dinosaurs. It's great. And then there's the boat from Jordan Peele's Us. And on the left, the Transformers. I don't know if they have any more movies coming. You know why? The last one they came out with, you know what I heard about it? I heard it tanked. Wow. Does anybody have any marshmallows, fresh marshmallows, and cram crackers? I need a score. And he'll take care of it. Oh, look out. That's some obstruction in front of it because you know what we're already getting ready for, you guys? Halloween Horror Nights. Man. Have any of you guys been to Halloween Horror Nights here at University students? It's fun, yeah. It's a great time, yeah. It starts earlier and earlier. It's this Friday from really director Jordan Peele. Out, it's called Nope. And what's it about? Everybody look out the window, look up. Do you see the aliens up there? Anybody want to come with me and see it? Look up. Let's see if I can get you in. You're on your own. Well, we just finished with the studio tour, and I feel like I say this every time I write it. Such a good attraction. I love it. Uh, it was really cool to see that they're working on the Terra Tram already. Um, as you guys saw the, the base motel, they're putting up walls and stuff, so that's all pretty cool. Uh, really excited for HHN. I will be there on the first day. I think I might go just to enjoy it, though. I don't know if I'm going to film the first day, but I might go back another day just to film it for you guys. But the first day, I might just go enjoy it. But anyways, we're going to head to the lower lot next. But anyways, we ended up dropping down a level, and here's your second angle of Super Nintendo World. I'm honestly not seeing much differences on this angle either, so... The updates are very minimal this week, sadly. But as always, we'll check again next week. And then, as far as the maze being built behind the mummy, or maze being built behind the mummy... Here's a look at that. I don't... I think they're done with this one. I haven't seen them do anything on, on this maze for in a, in, a, in a pretty good while already. And then it looks the same as it did the last time I was here. And then here's a look at the maze behind the Transformer attraction. We're really curious to see what this maze is going to be. So we finally made our way down to the lower lot and as you guys can see the Universal Studios store is still closed. I'm pretty sure they're turning into like the HHN store, which I can't wait for that to open because I want to see like all the merchandise is coming for that. But anyways, I think we're just going to head to Jurassic Outfitters and see if there's anything new over there. Well, so over here near the entrance of Jurassic Outfitters, looks like they have a new mug. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's pretty cool. 
There's Universal Studios on the inside. This mug is $17. So on my last trip here, I showed you guys that they had gotten in the uh, Mr. DNA launch fly bag, is $82. They must have been selling out so fast because look, they put them behind glass now, or plastic. Put them behind plastic. Oh, check this out. They have a brand new Jurassic World popcorn pail. It's a popcorn bucket, but they're calling it a popcorn pail. It's $28.99. That is pretty cool. And it looks like the front lights up. Look at the inside. I'm guessing it has like a little tab in the batteries, which is probably why it's not turning on. But let me see if I can find one that has uh, the tab that's been removed. So I ended up finding one. Look, the center part lights up. Looks pretty cool. So I ended up leaving Jurassic Outfitters, and it looks like the newest item that was in there was the uh, the popcorn bucket, but I think now we're going to leave the lower lot and head back to the upper lot. Well, we just made our way to the upper lot, and I think our last stop of the day is going to be over here at the Universal Studio Store. So it looks like the newest merch that they have in here is from the movie Nope. They have some t-shirts. I panned for gold at Jupiter's Claim, and all I got was this t-shirt. <laughs> Shirt is twenty-seven dollars, and it looks like sizes range from a small to a, I want to say a three X, two X. And they have this T-shirt. Says the Star Lasso Experience. Jupiter's Claim presents the Star Lasso Experience. Friday, September 9th at five p.m. Don't miss out. Present this flyer at the entrance for free admission. This shirt retails for $27 and same small to 2x and this is the same shirt they already showed you guys and then they got this one I got roped into the star I got roped into the star lasso experience this one is also $27 and yep small to 2x see if there's anything on the back nothing they even have a Jordan Peele Funko Pop look one's $20. All right guys, but anyways, that was basically everything new I was able to find in the park today. I think I'm in the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.